Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to factor quadratic expressions that look like this. That is, expressions with only an x squared term and an x term. We'll be using a process called common factoring, which will give us factored expressions that look like this, where we have a monomial multiplied by a binomial. To get an idea of how common factoring works, let's start by multiplying out a factored expression, for example, 3x times 2x plus 5. Here we can use the distributive property, first multiplying 3x by 2x, which gives 6x squared, and then adding 3x times 5, which is 15x. Using multiplication to move from the expression on the left here to the expression on the right is called expanding. Factoring is the process that takes us from the expanded expression on the right back to the factored version on the left. Notice that factoring is the opposite of expanding. But how could we get from the expanded expression on the right to the factored expression on the left here? The key is to notice that in our expanded expression on the right, the coefficients 6 and 15 are both divisible by 3. Specifically, 3 is the greatest common factor of 6 and 15, which is why we see a 3 at the beginning of the factored expression. Similarly, both terms of the expanded expression contain a power of x, which is why we also have an x at the front of the factored expression. With that in mind, let's actually try factoring 6x squared plus 15x. As we already noted, the largest whole number that divides perfectly into our coefficients of 6 and 15 is 3. Therefore, our two terms have a common factor of 3, which we can write at the beginning of our factored expression. We also noted that both terms of the expanded expression contain a power of x. That is, the two terms have a common factor of x, which we also write at the beginning of the factored expression. To finish factoring the expression, we need to think about what 3x must be multiplied by to give the original expression of 6x squared plus 15x. To get the first term in our brackets, think about what we would multiply 3x by to get 6x squared. Since 3x times 2x is 6x squared, we want to include 2x as a term in the brackets. Finally, to find the second term in the brackets, we ask ourselves what 3x must be multiplied by to give the 15x term of the expanded expression. Well, 3x times 5 is 15x, so we need to add a constant term of 5 in the brackets. We now have the factored version of 6x squared plus 15x, which is 3x times 2x plus 5. Let's try another one. To common factor x squared minus 4x, first notice that the greatest common factor of our coefficients of 1 and 4 is 1. Also, both terms have a common factor of x. Notice that it's not necessary to write out our common factor of 1, since 1x can be written simply as x. The first term in the brackets should multiply with x to give x squared. Therefore, this term is x. The second term in the brackets should multiply with x to give the negative 4x term of the expanded expression. So we must have a negative 4 term in the brackets, which we can write simply as minus 4. Therefore, x squared minus 4x in factored form is x times x minus 4. Let's finish with one more quick example. Let's factor negative 12x squared plus 6x. Looking at the coefficients, the greatest common factor of 12 and 6 is 6, so we could common factor out a 6, but since the coefficient of the x squared term is negative, we would often factor out a negative 6. Once again, the two terms also have a common factor of x. Finally, we get negative 12x squared by multiplying negative 6x and 2x, and we get the positive 6x term by multiplying negative 6x and negative 1. Therefore, factoring negative 12x squared plus 6x gives negative 6x times 2x minus 1. For loads of interactive practice problems similar to the examples in this video, be sure to visit the link in the video's description.